Hi, I'm Karen Lee, and today we're making roasted butternut squash. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Preheat your oven to 375 at least 20 minutes ahead. Butternut squash is very healthy for you. It's packed with beta carotene, and the season is now. I want you to choose a piece that has a, a darker skin on the outside and very firm and uh, a long neck. So I'm going to peel it. Cutting it is always a challenge, but I find using a rubber mallet, which is originally designed for replacing hubcaps, really works well. Just take the uh, cleaver and uh, tap on it. See this color? That's what you want. The deeper the orange, the sweeter the taste. So the way we cut is three fingers wrapped around the handle. The index finger is bent. Thumb is on this side. Eyes are on this side. And the left hand, assuming you're right-handed, is curved. Not flat, but curved. So you're totally safe. So we need four cups of uh, squash cut into cubes. I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil. Toss it with a rubber spatula. And then a uh, teaspoon and a half of the uh, seasoning mixture. Toss it again. And all the while you have an iron skillet preheating. So now I'm just going to add a drop of oil, maybe a teaspoon, just swirl it around. The secret to the squash not sticking is to heat it for two minutes before you add the oil. Because if the squash sticks, that beautiful crust sticks to the pan, not the squash. It goes right in the hot oven. Set the timer for 15 or 20 minutes and then check it. Okay, well, I think we're approaching doneness. And we are. That's great. It's always good to give them a little flip. We'll put it uh, right on the serving dish. A little bit of salt. If you want to, you can do a little uh, garnish of uh, some finely diced uh, red pepper. Roasted butternut squash. I highly recommend it. Happy healthy holidays. <laughs>